Crowding is a new phenomenon. They, 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 they. In fact, it has been around for a long time. It's not just very, very new. It was going on unnoticed, but didn't have the kind of prevalence as it had, as it is having now. Other trinkets and paraphernalia have been, um, are being taken to school for, for over the longest possible time. As parents are faced with the challenges and expectations, challenges of school and what the school expects, the expectations of their children for, to perform, to protect their children against the kinds of deviance that take place in the school and in the school community, are all reasons why parents would have a range of occult practices ranging from a bath before they go to school, before the school opens, obiaman, blessing, and even in the church situation. At the beginning of school, we'll have, we pray for our children, which is, an, which is also that which puts faith in perspective as it relates to children going to school. But apart from that, for many persons, that is not enough. And many persons who do not have that kind of faith background or believe in God or believe enough in God, would choose to do the obiaman, the trinkets, the, 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 the charms, the bath, and just about every aspect of that kind of practice that is seen and known of in the society are, are done for children or on children as they enter the school system. Some of them know, look forward to it, but you have to be in obedience. Even, you know, just about all of them. We have had situations where it gets out of hand, where we have situations of students being demon possessed and manifesting demons on school compound. We've had that, and we, the church has to be called. We, we, this is one of the sure reasons I believe and insist that prayers be not taken from the schools, and that, that the Bible be not taken out of schools, and that the school clubs include Christian clubs so that the whole business of Christianity and the power of God can be made manifest. The day we get Bible out of school is going to be a tragedy. So we insist. And there are other organizations. I know that the Sons of the Fathers organization, for example, they are insistent on promoting values and attitude in school. And many other organizations are in tune with that. Many guidance counselors are indeed uh, are, are study at the Caribbean Graduate School of Theology and other theological institutions. And so they would bring their Christianity and their Christian belief and faith in the schools. And I believe that is playing a very important part in helping to alleviate much of what would be chaos, confusion, and serious damage to children by demonic forces, by the devil himself. So, you know, it is prevalent, very prevalent, not new, but with the newness of the regarding, and I wouldn't be surprised if there are others. Because what we know for sure is that there are kind of two types of um, of occultic practice or, or, or these kinds of things in school. There's the local one, administered by local um, obia men, charm producing individuals, and there are the ones that are imported from abroad. The good old long time ones that used to use to unschool compound are still around, people still use them. So this is pretty much what it is. And we know that this is happening, it's becoming more prevalent, we just know that it's prevalent. Some of them don't affect, don't trouble it, don't break, don't fix it. But many teachers are aware. The children who carry them and who wear them sometimes are, you know, are kind of different. Some are more passive. But in, in, in more recent times, what I think we are seeing is children being the, 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 the marketer, marketing the, the products and selling the products and are the access through which these products can be accessed. And I figure that is what is most of the contention because they have to be paid for. How do you propose the deal with this situation? Well, there's pretty little bit, pretty much nothing that can be done, um, especially if it doesn't impose or affect another child. It nothing can be done. What the school's rule and practices and policies need to be administered, and as long as there's no confrontation between the practice and the policies of the school. There's very little that the school can do. You know. To keep, however, prayers in school, devotions in school, and promote this Christian club in school, will keep them at an all-time low because the impact of the Satanic influences and the influence of the devil will be less because God's presence is there.
in fact, I'm, I'll be proactive and say that in schools there must be devotion. There must be the reading of the Bible and saying prayers because I think it, 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 gives, it gives the devil flight. In other words, it allows for the, for the safety, sanity, decency, moral rectitude and ethical values in the life of a school when Christianity is present in schools. Is that, um, is, that your, is that your personal view or is that a collective view from the church? No, it's a collective view from all of us, you know. Discipline, self-respect, all that tends towards Christian, you know, manliness, Christian conduct and character are advanced by Christianity and every single Christian church in Jamaica will attest to the fact that with Christianity in schools, the deviant practices, behaviors in the schools come under serious opposition and the best chance of having a school that embraces moral values are to have teachers who have Christian values and who embrace the Christian values and to keep the practice of Christianity in school by virtue of devotion, prayers and reading the Bible.